Hey everybody, it's Chris and I'm back to do a really cool gift idea pour with you guys today. So today I am pouring on a wooden letter. This letter is an 18 inch letter that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. Um, it was just 13 bucks, and if you use a coupon, it's a little bit less expensive than that. I haven't done a whole lot to prep it. I used my little sanding sponge and sanded the edges down as well as the outside edges. This is the back side of the letter. It has little hanging areas already cut into the back of it. Normally, I would have taped this off, but I found that it's a little bit easier for me if I'm going to resin a project just to sand it down when I'm finished. So that's what I'm gonna do with this one today. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it. It will probably cure for about a week or so, and then I'll go ahead and add resin to it, and then that way it's kind of a little bit more protected from the elements if someone wants to hang it on their door or whatever they decide that they want to do with it. So I have three three ounce little Solo cups here that I have spritzed with my WD-40 silicone spray just so that the paints will release. And the colors that I'm using today are Cadmium Orange Hue. This is a Soho Urban Artist acrylic paint. You can purchase that. I believe it's from Bob's Artorama. And then I'm also using the Crimson Red Paint from Master's Touch, which is a Hobby Lobby paint, as well as my Custom Silver. My Custom Silver is the Rust-Oleum Metallic Glitter Paint along with some of the Liquitex Acrylic Basics Silver. All of my paints have been mixed with my pouring medium, and my pouring medium recipe is four cups of strained Floetrol, a cup of glue all, a half a cup of Liquitex pouring medium, and about a quarter cup of water. Now, today I decided I really wanted to be sure that I had some cool effects in the paint, so I put some of my cadmium orange paint in a cup, and I mixed in about three drops of the Spot On Treadmill Belt Lubricant, because I wanna be sure to get some really cool effects in this letter. This is for Actually, it's for a Christmas gift from last year. I gave everyone coupons for custom letters of whatever color they would like, and it took her a little while, but she finally decided what she wanted. So she wanted red, orange, and some silver. So I'm gonna pour three cups of paint here, and I'm just gonna layer my paint in, just like I do for a lot of my other pours. And I'm pouring two cups for each side. And then I'm pouring an extra cup to do like the center bar portion of the H. And then that will also give me a little bit of extra paint if I need it for the ends. I find sometimes when I pour on the letters, it's a little bit harder to get kind of out on these curves on the letters. So hopefully that little extra cup of paint will get me to the rest of what I need. So I'm just gonna continue to layer my paints in and then I'm gonna show you how to pour this guy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is flip each cup over on each side of the H. And I'm gonna let that paint kind of drop down out of the cup, down to the bottom here. And then I'm gonna pull it down each side. So we'll start with this side. I'm gonna let a little bit of it ooze out a tiny bit here. And I sure didn't make it as far as I needed to. So let's see if we can get this one down a little bit further. There we go. I can already tell that I do not have enough paint poured. So let's flip this guy over since I didn't make it down there at all. And then I'm gonna take my spatula I have a lot of paint right here, so I'm just gonna pick this up and pour it out right here so that I can kind of save some of that paint as well as out here on the edges. And I'm gonna quickly pour another cup of paint here on the side because I know that we're gonna have some areas that need to be touched up because I obviously do not have enough paint right here. All right, and I'm just gonna pour this out because I know that I'm gonna need a little bit more over here 
as well as here. There we go. And then I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of this paint and kind of come over here and do this edge. So I'm gonna to continue to kind of fill in my gaps that I have here, and then I'll come back and show you guys how to tip this. Okay, the next thing I wanna do then is to pop the bubbles and then we'll go ahead and tilt it. So I'm just using my torch on a lower flame. So my goal is kind of try to try to make sure that the entire surface of the wood is covered because I still have to tip it and try to get the sides of it covered as well. So I always try to make sure that the surface is covered in paint. And now I'm just gonna pick it up and I'm gonna tilt um, each way. So we'll go left first. And then kind of, I kind of do, I guess like a clockwise, if you will, to try to get all of the sides covered evenly. so that it's much easier than having to go back and fix everything later. And it looks so much nicer if the paint flows down over the edge. Okay, so I need to just tip it a little bit to get the top of it. Otherwise, I think we did pretty good on getting all sides of it. I have just a little bit of touch up to do, but that's okay. There we go. All right, so as I said, um, I'll go back and touch up a little bit of these edges, but the colors that she chose were the red, orange, and silver. And you can see that by putting in that silicone, I definitely got some really cool effects. Let me pick this up and give you guys a little bit closer view of some of those. So I definitely got some really cool cell reaction by putting that silicone in the paint. I generally don't put silicone in. I kind of just let my paints Kind of do what they want to with the pouring medium but i really wanted this one to look super cool so i definitely added a little bit of silicone in there to help the effects of the paint all right so as i said this will set about a week and then i will put a coat of resin on it and then it'll be ready for the recipient thanks so much for watching today guys please make sure that you like subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and as always if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask thanks so much Bye bye